Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight is the long awaited story time that I've been promising you guys all about my days at the Playboy Mansion. I never really thought that on my channel, like when I started my channel a couple years ago, I never thought that I would be sitting here telling you guys about when I went to the Playboy Mansion. I just, I don't know. I don't want this video to be all over the place and I don't want it to be super long. And I have a feeling it might be both. Now, I went on this trip to L.A. twice, and I'll get into the whole trip and everything, but I think I'm just going to kind of concentrate on that first trip where I went to L.A. and went to the Playboy Mansion and all this stuff because I did it twice, two years in a row, and getting into both trips at once is going to be really confusing. Have a seat, grab your glass of red wine or white or beer, apple juice, milk, whatever you prefer, I hope it's not milk, that might be weird. And I guess let's just get started. So let's rewind all the way back to 2011. So what was that? Six years ago, almost seven years ago now. Wow, that was a long time ago. Um, I was, oh my God, am I really gonna say my age right now? I can't do math, but I'm 30. Oh wait, this is easy. I'm 30 minus seven. I was like 23 and I remember sitting in my room on my laptop um, and I was on Facebook and I was just scrolling through Facebook looking at people's statuses and I noticed like on the side of, of Facebook they had like an ad running um, and it was about Playboy Girls of Golf. Like I remember it said Playboy Girls of Golf sign up here um, if you want to join and I was kind of interested um, and so I clicked it. And I looked into it and it took me to a whole website or a whole page, I don't remember, all about how you could join um, to be a Playboy girl of golf. And what that meant was that Playboy was hosting these different um, tournaments all around the U.S. in different states. So you would pretty much apply. You would have to fill out a whole form. You would have to send in pictures of yourself. They would decide if they wanted you to participate in girls of golf. And um, I remember looking through it and seeing some pictures of previous years and it just looked like a blast. And I figured, why not? That looks like so much fun. And I figured, whatever, I'm just gonna apply. So I remember texting my girlfriend Madison and telling her about it and was like, look what I just came across. This looks like so much fun. You should apply too. And if we both get accepted, we should go together. Um, and she was all for it. So we both applied and we both got accepted. Let's see if I can find like one of the first emails that they sent me and I can kind of read to you. Yeah, I have it, wow. So I'm just gonna read to you a little bit of this email that was sent to me after I applied. Um, thank you for submitting your information to Playboy Golf and the Girls of Playboy Golf Contest. It's a great way to experience the world of Playboy. And then it says, please respond to this email with the following. Um, and then I just have to like send in a bunch of information about myself, my measurements, um, my clothing size, some more pictures and everything because they do give you an outfit to wear on the golf course. Pretty much you show up, you put on the outfit that they give you, and you're out there with golfers for the day, just like regular golfers who sign up to join the competition, and you pretty much just like have fun. Um, they put you at a certain hole, and then you kind of just like mingle with the golfers that come to your hole, and you drink with them and you just get to know them and that's pretty much it. I mean like literally that's that's what it was about. It was just pretty much like meeting people and like networking with people and just having fun. And I mean I'm 23 at this point and I'm all about having fun. Like college is over but I'm still like young and I still want to go out and do things and Playboy was so intriguing to me. So fast forward to the night before the tournament. Um, my girlfriend Madison came and stayed the night at my house, and then we got up early. I think it was like 6 o'clock in the morning that we got up, put all our makeup on, we curled our hair, we got ready, and we went to Virginia. We went to the event, and um, I remember they gave us like our cute little outfits, um, our merchandise and everything and we changed we met a whole bunch of other girls that were also participating in this tournament and then they kind of told us what we had to do the whole point of the tournament was that it was a contest so all the girls of golf that were participating were entered into the contest and pretty much at the end of the night there was a dinner and you were supposed to bring a cocktail dress 
and after the tournament you go to the locker rooms because um, it was held at a country club and you get ready again and then you're invited to like a really nice dinner in the country club with all the golfers and then at the end of dinner all the golfers vote for I believe it was they vote for their two favorite girls of golf and I won so I think there were four girls that won, if I remember correctly. It was either two or four. Um, I remember literally when they called my name, I was in shock. Like, I did not think I was going to win at all. And when they called my name, I was so happy. I, like, went up, um, got pictures taken with everyone, and they... Um, they gave me this folder with like the Playboy Bunny on it and it was like a folder all about the trip that I won. Four nights in LA, staying at a really nice hotel, um, all paid for. They paid for my airfare and, um, and there were all these events that they were holding. Two events at the Playboy Mansion and then a few other events and a golf tournament that I would attend as well. I also was able to bring four girlfriends with me. So I brought four of my best girlfriends and that's pretty much like how I ended up going on this like LA trip and going to the Playboy Mansion. So now I'm going to kind of get into the next part of the story, which is, you know, fast forward six months, I think, because the tournament was in the fall and I remember the, um, the LA trip was in the spring, it was in April. I'm looking for like the actual itinerary of the, um, of the trip because that's what I kind of want to like go over and I don't remember all of it. Okay, so the hotel was the Beverly Hilton, which is on Wilshire Boulevard in Beverly Hills. So that was already exciting. And um, my brother did and does live in LA. So we were able to also like hang out with him for a little bit and he was able to show us around some like fun parts of LA as well. So we flew in on Wednesday and we went to the Beverly Hilton. And we checked in, we got like our girls of golf outfits and all our merchandise. Like we got like really cute little backpacks. I'm going to be inserting pictures throughout this story time as well. Like I'll put like little pictures right here. Maybe I should move over. And then Thursday was our first party at the Playboy Mansion. I remember being so nervous, but so excited to go to the Playboy Mansion. It was just like unreal. It was so much fun. Um, there were like so many different bars so many people lots of celebrities that we met and um and lots of drinks flowing we saw the grotto i remember when we first walked in um to the playboy mansion there were like a lot of playmates there that like greet us like at the door and um they were like all really really sweet it was also saint patrick's day so it was like a saint patrick's day themed party and i wore a green like push-up swimsuit um, top that I got from Victoria's Secret that had like it was like the bombshell one so it had like super super crazy padding in it my boobs were like boom in your face like cra I cannot believe I wore that and I'm like looking at pictures right now I think I had like a little green bow like in my hair like I think I had my hair tied back with like a little green bow yeah it was like when bows were in the mansion is huge and we couldn't go inside but um the party was like out back where the grotto was and they also have like that little mini zoo with like all these different birds and everything and you go like in the grotto it's like a tunnel and they had like the tennis courts and um like the pool house which was like kind of the arcade the playboy mansion is no joke i mean it was legit insane so friday um was the golf tournament and it was at the golf at pacific palm golf resort and that's where like a ton of celebrities were because they were like involved in this golf tournament. I remember getting there and being assigned to a hole and my friends and I were kind of like little badasses. Like we didn't want to stay at our hole the whole time and you were supposed to. Like you, like they had some strict rules. Like they were like, you gotta stay at the specific hole or else you can't come to this party or you can't come to the Playboy Mansion or whatever and we were just like whatever like this is a one-time deal when are we ever going to be able to experience something like this again and we wanted to meet everyone we wanted to meet all the other girls and we wanted to meet all the celebrities and we wanted just like to go all over the place at the golf course we didn't want to just stick to our one hole we like jumped in the golf cart drove around with them probably got in trouble but we met a ton of people and it was so much fun. I do remember we met like Cooper Hefner which is one of Hef's sons and he was the sweetest guy ever. He was such a sweetheart. Um and who else did we meet? I'm like looking through pictures right now to try to like 
remember certain things. Um, that's where we met Josh Henderson, which who we ended up hanging out with like that night at the pajama party. Um, if you don't know who Josh Henderson is, he is a celebrity. He was like one of the main stars of Dallas, um, like the the remake of Dallas. Um, he dated Ashley Simpson for a while. He was in Step Up with my love Channing. I remember that was one of the questions I asked him. <laughs> so embarrassing. We were like hanging out with him and I was like, wait, you were in Step Up. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, so you know Channing Tatum. He's like, yeah, like we're, we're bros. Like he's my friend. And I'm just like, oh my God. We went back to the hotel at the end of the golf tournament and got ready for our casino party, which was like flapper themed. I remember one, one really funny moment was we were all in the hotel room. We were all getting ready to go to the speakeasy party. And um, we were like, you know, putting on our makeup and getting dressed. And my friend Madison like went into the bathroom to change. And all of a sudden she comes out of the bathroom in like full head to toe attire, like ready for the speakeasy party. This huge feathered white, th I don't even know where she got it. I don't know if she made it or ordered it. I, it was like around her head. It was huge. It was just, I remember me and my other girlfriends on the floor dying laughing because it was just so Funny. Her outfit was amazing. I mean, her, I wish I had that outfit. It was awesome. It was perfect. It was perfect. But it was just so funny because we weren't expecting that when she walked out of the bathroom. We were not expecting her to be full head to toe with like this huge white feathered boa thing on her head. I mean, it was just hilarious. I remember that was like, that was a really fun moment. And we met the coolest person. We met Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite that night. So he was one of the guests at the speakeasy party. And I just, it was just hilarious. Like, you know, like, vote for Pedro, you, you guys know. And then Saturday was our last full day in LA. And I remember Saturday morning, um, there was like a little pool party going on at the hotel. I don't really even think we went. I think my friend Madison went for a little bit, but I think we were so hungover and we were trying to like gear up and get ready for like the huge Playboy pajama party that night. So that night, of course, we got ready. We put on our lingerie outfits. I wore like a really cute blue, like kind of slip. So I didn't really have my stomach out, but I definitely have my boobs out. Like my girls were showing for everyone to see. And it's when I had boobs. Now that I'm a mom, they have disappeared. I remember like I self tanned. So I was like super tan. I think I self, I think I went and got a spray tan before um, we even left for LA. Cause like mama had to get ready. All my girlfriends looked super cute, like in the cutest freaking lingerie outfits. And we got pictures and then we went into the Playboy Mansion again, like the outside. This was all on the outside of the Playboy Mansion. It was all set up. It was so cool. There were like lights everywhere and like so many different bars. I think the first thing we did was get some food. Like knowing me, the first thing I did was go straight to that buffet line and get myself some food. And then after that, I got myself some drinks and I drank and drank and drank. We, we drank and then of course ended up on the dance floor. I remember going around to like all the different tables because people like celebrities and stuff had like little tables and stuff set up. I fell. That was fun. I'll insert a picture here because I have a picture. I don't know who took this picture. Probably my friend Brittany. <laughs> but yeah, I slipped in my like freaking five inch heels and no, you cannot see like I had underwear on so you like can't see anything. But like, yeah, some like sweet guy helped me up. Um, and then of course, like there are the typical pictures of all the girls in the bathroom because of course when you go to the bathroom you have to bring all your girlfriends and then take pictures. One thing that I do remember from that trip that my girlfriend Madison reminded me of tonight was that like me and Brittany so we were staying in the Beverly Hilton and I think like a few months earlier Whitney Houston had passed away and I was a huge I was and still am a huge fan of Whitney Houston and she actually died in that hotel. So I remember that me and my friend Brittany were in the hotel and we were like, we've got to go visit the room. And the room was blocked off. Like they wouldn't, I mean, they weren't letting anyone stay in there, obviously. Um, but we figured out what room it was and we went up to that floor and we went over to the room and we just like kind of sat outside. I don't remember if we knocked on the door. Like, I think we just, I don't remember, but I think we kind of just went up to the door and we were kind of like, oh my God. Whitney Houston died in this room. Like, it was just so weird. We were such dorks. Um, I do want to say that I love Playboy. There is nothing wrong with Playboy in my opinion. I think if girls want to pose nude, then they should. Like, I don't see the harm in it. Like, if they are proud of their bodies and they want to show it off, then whatever. Like, who cares? So, I don't want any hate comments on my video. 
and I know I'm gonna get up because this is a freaking you know YouTube video about Playboy so yeah guys that is pretty much it for my story of going to the Playboy Mansion I know this was kind of all over the place again it was so long ago I really just like don't remember all the nitty gritty details of everything but for the most part that's what happened that's how um, I was able to go to the Playboy Mansion that's how I was chosen to go to the Playboy Mansion and that's how I came across this whole Playboy Girls of Golf thing in the first place which I don't even think is a thing anymore um, but yeah I did go two years in a row and the second year I did do the same thing where I just applied again um, and got accepted to do the girls of golf in my hometown and then I won again that year to go to the Playboy Mansion for like the golf tournament in LA so that is pretty much all of it if you guys have any questions leave them down below I'll be sure to answer them for you and I hope you guys enjoyed this story time this is my first story time so be nice I have never done one of these before but yeah those were my Playboy days they were so much fun um I would do it all over again if I could, but I'm probably just way too old at this point. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!